Now, alien life in Starfield has been confirmed. This is nothing new. We've seen the trailers. What I want to do is go through what we have seen, what I hope we see more of, and some of the wild cards that we do not see yet, which I hope are in the game. So let's get into it. Now, like I said, only 10% of the planets inside of Starfield are going to have life. So there's going to be very little amounts of life. So think about that. It's over a thousand planets. Only about a hundred are going to have life on it. That's not a lot of stuff to see. But a fair amount of animals and life forms have been shown anyway throughout the variety of trailers. There have definitely been some more memorable animals in my opinion. For example, the giant monster that jumps onto a different smaller monster. This monster looks like a parallel of a Deathclaw in some of the Fallout games, which is horrifying if you also know how deadly Deathclaws were in the Fallout games. I think this kind of alien was definitely necessary because what is a Bethesda game without at least one alpha predator inside of it? That's just my opinion. But in contrast to this big guy, you look at some of the more peaceful looking aliens, such as some of the long net ones that look like dinosaurs from Earth. Were they deadly? Probably. As deadly as the previous guy? Doubt it, but I could also be very wrong. There's also been some flying monsters. One we've seen up close that kind of looks like a mix between a dinosaur and a modern day eagle. And there's another version that we kind of see, but I'm not surprised if there's only a variety of the flying monsters. And we of course can't forget the giant attacking octopus, which is very much so nightmare fuel at its finest. This also brings up one of my first questions is this description of this particular monster. It says it's an attack octopus, essentially. Will there be variations of these different kind of monsters and not just attacking monsters? Are there more friendly versions of the same octopus species? Questions I would like to have answered, but I'll probably wait until the actual game comes out to have them. Now, my hope is that even though there's only about 10% of the planets having life on them, we will have secret life forms that are rarer to find or a very secret planet that can be found after completing certain challenges. Some wishful thinking, possibly, but Bethesda has put countless secrets into their games in the past, so why not again for something like this? Seeing all the different types of aliens, friendly and not so friendly, it definitely makes me more excited to search all 100 star systems over the thousand planets to find all the planets that have life on them and to see exactly what we run into. Now, if you're as excited as I am for release day and also excited to see what we find on these planets, do me a favor, hit the like button, hit subscribe, as I'll be covering all this information in future videos when the game fully releases. And with that, I will catch you guys on the next video.